Money laundering cases on the rise in Hong Kong. Airlines and the Chinese mainland charging customers extra fee for better seats. And an artist mapped out a city with its smells. You're watching 3 at 5, and I'm Andrea Dan. In Hong Kong, the number of money laundering cases is rising, with more people from outside Hong Kong being deployed to open bank accounts through which money is laundered. The Commercial Crime Bureau received 282 reports of money laundering cases as of June this year, an 80% increase from the same period last year. Nine cases were considered serious, involving 456 million Hong Kong dollars combined. Police said people were hired and paid for between 503,000 Hong Kong dollars to carry out the crime. Airlines from China might follow an international trend of charging extra fees if customers request better seats. Seats that allow customers to stretch their legs or sit next to the window are usually more popular. Now, Spring Airlines in the mainland China charges 170 RMB if customers make extra requests to choose a seat from the first row and 70 RMB for seats next to the emergency exit. The chairman of Spring Airlines said the fees could rise later. China Southern Airlines and China Eastern Airlines are also adopting similar policies on some of their long-haul flights. A British artist and researcher recently published a city map of Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, with traits of smell. What inspired Kate McLean to do so, and you might have guessed, is the city's legal use of marijuana. However, McLean measured and mapped the city's smell with many other ordinary things, such as waffles for sale on the market, laundry, old books, or leafy fresh rain, among a vast range of 650 perceived scents. Even underground transportation systems have unique smells and varies from city to city. McLean thinks studying the scent of a city offers a new perspective on the city's culture. That is it for today. If you like our show, subscribe to 3 at 5 YouTube channel.